Unfinished Family Business Season 2, Mississippi River, La Crosse, Wisconsin. You know, I need to make the classic to try to win one for Pops. Also want a blue trophy really bad. Roosters crowing every morning. I mean, he jumps out of bed like a dang ten years old or something. Boy, he You're pretty good fish. Good morning. Everybody just coming right on down the stairs. Morning. morning. Have you the one been letting that snooze go off for an hour? That's been McCoy. Really? I mean, my gosh, Charlie. Where's Matt? Matt. Matt went out toward the truck. Oh, really? go out the last tournament of the year knowing that I'm in the classic. It's just out here to have fun, just gonna jack them up best I can. That's a heck of a feeling dude. Good feeling. Both of y'all. But we still want to do good. Oh yeah. There's a lot of money on the line these babies. You're gonna do just fine. It is uh five o'clock in the morning. We are now into our last event of the year. The last one that's right. Bassmaster Elite season is coming to an end. We are here in La Crosse, Wisconsin, Mississippi River. One of the uh, most fun places to fish on the planet. Like, honestly, guys, th this place is cool. And the reason it's so cool, largemouth and smallmouth. But well, here's the best part about it. You catch smallmouth in the grass, up shallow, swim jigs. Like, it, it, it's so cool. I spent three days out on the river trying to figure out how to catch these fish. I need to catch them to make the classic. I want to catch them for obvious reasons. I want to win the tournament, guys. So I want to get out there. I want to put together something pretty solid for the next two days. Let's that's, that's that's, that's just, that's just go for it, right? Mississippi River Lacrosse. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a good one, guys. Last tournament of the year, guys. Mississippi River. Love this place. I call it Mississippi Maze because it's just like a labyrinth of channels in shallow water fishery. But, you know, we've gone a long ways this year. We started in Florida. We're ending up up here. Mission Unstoppable, okay? Mission Unstoppable. I want you, there's, a, there's a link in the description. I want you guys to go check out Mission Unstoppable. And that is Mobile Delvac is sponsoring this video. And Mobile Delvac is the oil that I use in all my vehicles. And, you know, in today's today's uh, economy and, and, the, and, the, and the, uh, how hard it is to get parts, you want to take care of your equipment. I put 50, 60,000 miles a year driving all over the country. I cannot afford to have an issue with my engine can't afford to have a breakdown and uh, mobile makes a fantastic oil mobile delvac so uh, i encourage you guys to use the best check it out again there's a website they built they built especially for this moment right here mission unstoppable go check it out guys thanks mobile for uh, supporting us and building great products typically 12 pounds a day makes a cut here with this crew it wouldn't surprise me if it's a little bit more so i'll be happy with anything in the teens if i get anything in the teens i'll be i'll be happy I mean, I'm already in the Classic, but, uh, you know, that really doesn't affect anything. It's still a tournament, and I want to do good. I want to make money, so uh, we're going to try to catch as big a bag as we can catch. If it goes our way, we'll have them at the scales this evening. All right, so we got Bass Live today. we got David in the boat with us today doing a little, little coverage today. You know, I've been here, I don't know, probably this is probably my fifth or sixth time here, FLW Days. Mostly June. I was here a couple times in May. Never been here in August. But I always, every time I came here, they would go, oh, August is so good, August is so good, the water gets down, and fishing's good, and it is good. So, three hard days of practice, guys. We, we, uh, we had a, I thought we had a good practice. We have a lot of different options. And we just, at the end of the day, we just gotta go out and catch about 16 pounds a day and win this tournament. So, sounds easy, right? <laughs> it never is, but we're ready for the challenge. I bring the style out. So much fire they can't put out. Fresh off the block, I had to get out.
dude, nobody's here, bro. That's a big deal. That's a huge deal. It's a huge deal to be able to start your day off where you want to fish. Yes, sir. Oh, look at them busting out there, dude. There's a big one. Crazy is there a smallmouth here? I didn't expect to catch. <clears throat> He's not 14. There's big smallies right here. sandbar right here water currents washing over it mississippi river it's a little little deal right here Again, I hadn't, I hadn't caught a large mouth here, which is kind of crazy. Fourteen inches, right? He's not a keeper, short and fat. It's all right. They're there. That's all that matters. There's a big one right there, dude. Oh yeah. Wow, that's a real big one, guys. That is a monster. Oh my gosh, did he pull off? Okay. Huh. Okay. That was like a big one.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A large mouth that is so cool that again that's what's so neat about this place like literally guys thought i was gonna pull up here and catch all small mouth that's all i caught here yesterday <laughs> so to me this is like a little bonus right i hadn't even leaned on my small mouth yet that's a good two and a half good fish right there thank you lord Nothing better than old top water. Oosh. Oosh. We need to catch big old Sally here in a minute. Got my first smallmouth today though. Trying to, look, trying to scoop these things up, dude. Let's just get them in the boat. We got a job to do. Two pounder. I'm sure he's four pounder. Small mouth or longer. Oh yeah. Number three. Number three. We'll put, put small mouth on this side. Large mouth on this side. Yeah, it's um, it's good. Like I said, it's a blessing that I gotta be able to fish this stuff. No, mm -mm. just when you find a really good school of fish, it's just your mind's like, okay, everybody found it. Can't believe that nice one over there that got off, man. That's that's good though. He was biting though, big ones. I think we can catch some more big ones. There's like three schools of fish right here. There was another boat over there on that other one. See that green buoy over there? Yeah. There's a nice school there on that buoy. And there was a boat that started there and then like he left. Like I don't know where he went. Doesn't make sense. Let's see how they react to this little thing which I hadn't even thrown on them yet. But they might react to this really good. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> First cast on secret. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I tied this on last night. I was like, they might eat that. <laughs> yeah. Come on, dude. God, leave me. Come on. Secret. That's a Mississippi River secret. Two pounder. Small my side. Yeah, 
Yeah, baby. Let's we'll call that one a three. Two, four. Probably bigger. Yeah. But we'll call it a three. That's a good one. Yeah, you can see this. It's cold. Oh, yeah, my long shot. Yeah. Come on, be a big one, dude. Feels good. Oh, yeah. Okay, what the hell, dude? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's up. Got him. Yeah, that's a good one there. <laughs> to a five right there we'll keep catching them they're biting dude it's gonna be a good day i love this place all right it's five dude okay gotta keep working keep working i think i think i've had a couple of those on over there <laughs> It's all right. Good thing is, they're not going anywhere. Like, even if I lose them today, yeah. and I pull up here tomorrow, I'll, that same fish will bite again, dude. Dude, they're chasing up on that flat. Look at them up there. Okay. See him busting way up there? There's a bite. Oh boy, this feels, now this feels better. Yeah. Carolina rig, who would have thought? I told my daughter last night, I said, I'm throwing a Carolina rig. She said, what? I said, in a foot of water. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah. Dude. Come on, buddy. It's a good one, dude. That's a good one. That's a good one. That helps. Okay, I got a coal back here. This was my large my side, right? Mm -hmm. right. Wall of Skeeter. I had two jump out of this boat. One in the first tournament of the year last year, St. John's. I'm calling in the tournament, hoping the box dude, the biggest one, goes never touched the boat. And I'm like, what was that? Was that was that just a was that just a fish? Yeah. So now we make wall of skeeter. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's between the Yeah, it's between the it's between the small mouth right now. Let's see which one's the bigger. All right, this one's bigger. All right, see you, dude. I got about eleven and a half or so. Dude, I lost two. Well, it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. They're biting. Oh my gosh, dude. Did you see that? <laughs> wow. He should. He should play. Oh man. Feels like a good one. 
That was like a good one. Maybe a two and a half. Nah, he's not even gonna help me, I don't think. Maybe. That wasn't what bit me the first time. <laughs> The large mouth is just a, a fraction heavier, dude. Believe it or not, I like a, I like just a minuscule little split. I'm gonna go up there and get that swim jig on him. That one hook swim jig. Stick him in the face. That's a, that's a nice fish. That's a nice one. What's crazy is that I was fully expecting to catch nothing but dang smallmouth. Come on, buddy. That helps. Nice. Dude, we're gonna have fun today. We gotta get like 17 though. That's what we gotta do. I don't know how to. We need like a four, a couple fours. Oh yeah. That's a small one, right? So it gives me another two and a half although I hadn't weighed any of them so I don't know dude let's bite Be a big one. Be a big one. Acting a little different. Acting a little different. Oh yeah, big one, dude. God almighty, dude. <sighs> They're biting. That you get when you try to boat swing everything but that's how this year is gone it's like you know you look at my results and you say oh dude he's had some tough tournaments it's like yeah i've had tough tournaments but there's two kinds of tough tournaments one tough tournament is where you don't find fish you just don't catch them the other tough tournament is where you just have things happen like today eh, it's fine they're biting. I'm making good decisions. I'm making good casts. I'm getting the fish to bite. There's no pressure on all this stuff. And I'm sweating my tail off, dude. Oh. Be like, give me the pliers. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, no, he's skinny. He's fat. He'd help. Yeah. Uh, he's a two. He's a two, three. I'd put him in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Nice job. That's a key. That's big shoulders, huh? Something, something feeling big right here. Something big, I think, guys. Haven't been able to really even turn him. He's mad. He was just mad. Might help us, maybe. Let's see if this way is now that we've got a 260, 69. Last cast. Last cast, we're leaving. There's a big one. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Two. Two, ten. That was an awesome bite. Dude, that thing rocked me. <laughs> I was like, Doo -doo -doo. Always makes you feel good when you look up. This was this was gonna be my starting spot, but I decided not to start here. It always makes you feel good whenever you see oh Schmitty. If you see Schmitty here, it's like if you're questioning is it good fish or not, there's good fish here. <laughs> at me I just real crazy because I don't want I don't want them learning anything about what I'm doing.
Oh, wow. Wow. Oh yeah, nice fish. A lot of grass though. Not, it didn't even help me. <sighs> he had me in that grass. I thought he was a dang five pounder. I was like, that's the one. That's Johnny Boy right there. It's not Johnny Boy. <sighs> There they are right there. That's the shed. Right there. That whole big, that whole big thing, a shed. You can physically see them too. That's a big one. That's a big one, dude. That's a big one. That's a big one. Finally. Yeah, boy! <sighs> Finally. Hey, now. <laughs> that helps the cause. Finally got one of these dudes to bite. That's a three pounder for sure. A good fish. Now we get a call. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Mm. They're dead even, aren't they? Yeah, they're dead even. Okay. All right, that was a good call. Basically a pound upgrade. That's it, fellas. It's a fun day. It's a good day. Just gotta go put it together again tomorrow. I'll kind of do the same thing. I'll maybe rotate a few spots differently. You know, it would be nice to make it to Saturday. There's a little wind coming in on Saturday. I think I think some of those fish will bite a lot better. But you know what? It's a, it's a it's a good bag. I mean, typically 15 pounds a day wins this tournament. So it'd be nice to win. That's what I want to do. I'm going to fish my tail off to try to pull off something special. Time classic qualifier from Shelby, North Carolina. Team Toyota's Matt Airy. 15 pounds, 8 ounces. There's no need to joke because he's in second place currently. That's the Pink Coast Big Bass. 3 pounds, 5 ounces. You're in the lead there for now, but sitting in second place in this tournament, man, you got to be happy. 14 ounces short of the lead. Yeah, you know, 15 pounds on this river any day of the week is a good bag. And, and, and that was a goal coming in today, just to hit the teens every day. And I think you'll be right there in the end. So um, I think I'm going to go round up a spotted cow and some cheese curds and regroup for tomorrow. That sounds like a plan. It's a good start on this river. Three pound average is strong on this river. So I don't, I, I burn them down pretty bad today. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I've got a secondary pattern going where I might can catch 10 pounds or so. Um, anything in the teens tomorrow would be the goal because realistically that'll keep you in it. 2019 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. One short of his limit here today, four fish. Four fish. 
for seven pounds, 14 ounces. You're in 20th place right now. Not the start you wanted, but that's why we get everybody fishes the first two days. Yeah, man, it was a tough day. I mean, I didn't catch a fish till after lunch today, and then I went and caught those four little ones. But uh, I don't know. I, I had some pretty good places, I thought. They got muddied up, but... Uh, Man, this is an awesome crowd. It's hitting the way I wanted to end the year, so tomorrow I'm going to go out and swing, see if we can't make a comeback in this thing, guys. I appreciate y'all. We'll make it happen. This place will be packed tomorrow. Terrible. I'm going to be down toward the end, but uh, I think both the other guys in the house caught them pretty good, so maybe I can make a comeback tomorrow and get back in this thing a little bit, and hopefully they can keep catching them, and we'll all three make the classic. So that's what the goal is right now. Day one lacrosse didn't go as planned. See how it goes tomorrow. He's a seven-time FLW Tour winner, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. We're able to watch him all day long on Bass Live 5 Fish here today. He's 13 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into 13th place currently with 13.7. Uh, man, this is going to be one of the tightest tournaments we have all year long. And, uh, well, it should be because most of the pressure is on most of the field here this week. Uh, you know what, it's, what an awesome place to finish a year off. You know, this is one of the most dynamic fisheries that we fish all year because you can go smallmouth fishing, largemouth fishing, in a creek, out on a flat, river ledge, whatever you want to do. So there's so many cool things to do. This is a great place. I hope we come back here every year. I caught a lot of fish today. Um, you know, just hopefully can duplicate that tomorrow or maybe step it up a little bit. You know, this is my last chance to win a blue trophy this year. So we got to fish hard. But appreciate all the support. I want to say hi to my wife at home and want to thank you uh thank my lord and savior for blessing me today thank you thanks for being part of the elite series we look forward to seeing you back here all right well let's uh let's go back and see what happened and see how the boys did and you know get this thing on the trailer go grab some dinner and figure out a way to catch a little bit better back tomorrow you know i need to catch 15 16 17 pounds and i think i can obviously i'm around them so let's go Catch their butts tomorrow, dude. I want something hot. That's all I want to do. Just catch their butts. Tomorrow. Make the make the cut. Hibachi's oh, on the back. Uh, no, no, it ain't. Did you, did you find the hibachi back? Okay. Yeah. Good. Hibachi. He said, "Do they have cooked chicken and rice?" Is that how he said it? Yeah. Five it miles an hour with max of eighteen. What? Yeah. Maybe it won't. Yeah. I hope it ain't foggy tomorrow. Eight miles an hour with max of 25. Eat that chicken, dude. My heart's gonna, no. My heart's gonna stop working if they start singing Happy Birthday. Why? Why? I'm a, I'll take your picture and stuff, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Max a little scared that we're gonna do a birthday uh, dinner for him. That's a week out, though. It's only four days. Four days? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it. A, I'm gonna give it a, a solid six. I only had one roll, and it was. Out of ten. It was like a yeah. seven point five. It was yeah, good. you're tough, man. He is tough. Well, that was. This is a this solid is what seven. I had. It was really good. And and these are seven. That was. That's a little too much going on. They well, they order. Now shrimp tempura. That's it, a bunch of other it, stuff. It, on it. It's not a. It didn't match up to my rock and roll sushi. Happy birthday to you, da da da. Happy birthday to you, da da da. Happy birthday, Mac. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mac. Thank you. That's not too bad. That's pretty bad. Just a check. Yeah, no. Oh, his heart's racing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anxiety level of Anxiety level of what? Blow you chicken blow you candle out. I was gonna let it keep burning. Obviously. <laughs> Food coma. up yet yesterday I finished I think in 20 I don't even know I didn't really look 23rd 24th something like that Matt's in like 10th Canterbury had a tough day um, 
Clint had a tough day. So half the house called him, half the house didn't. Today's going to be an interesting day because the wind's going to blow. It's going to be cloudy most of the day, maybe even a little rain. It's going to change things a lot. I think it's going to help me with what I'm doing. And I've just got to buckle down on some of those areas that have the best opportunity for a big bite. And, and I fished all that stuff yesterday. So, you know, we're just going to go back out and kind of kind of the same rotation, probably focus a little bit longer on some areas that I feel like I can get those bigger largemouth, like in that grass around the stoddard area. But, you know, I've got a smallmouth spot. I probably need to go check on it pretty early because the wind's supposed to blow maybe even 20 miles an hour. If that happens, could mess that spot up, possibly. I don't even know if they're still there, but well, the good thing about that spot, it just takes literally just a few minutes to check it. It's not too far away. So I'm in the area, you know, with the couple fish that I lost yesterday, it would have put me right up there, probably in the lead, if not second. But you know what? That just proves that I'm on good stuff. I've been making good decisions this week. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to get out there and we're going to try to catch uh, a couple big smallmouth today. It would be awesome, actually. So that's it. Day two is now here. And, uh, we need to move up. This is my last chance to have an opportunity to win one this year. And we're just going to send it full send, boys. Let's get these guys up. They're just all sleeping in. Let's go check on them. Oh, Maddie, Maddie. She's up. Man, y'all better get up, dude. Mm. It's 5 o'clock. Uh huh. And it's 5 o'clock. Hello! Hello! Yeah. So, big storms to the north of us. Possibly some big storms gonna hit us this afternoon from what it looks like on the uh, radar. So, there may be a delay this morning. As far as where I'm fishing, I don't think any of it's really gonna mess anything up, really. Um, I think that area around Stoddard is probably the most protected, so if I can catch a nice fit bag of fish off of the sandbars in the morning, spend the rest of the day in Stoddard trying to catch a, you know, three and a half to four pound largemouth, that's what we need to do. Born on the bridge. Tell me, tell everybody it's canceled. <laughs> have to feel good. Tournament's canceled. Day one's canceled. Or day two's canceled. <laughs> That's how you eliminate half the competition. <laughs> Day two's canceled. Going back to the room. Sleep. You know, I feel all right. I struggled real bad yesterday. I need to catch a couple big ones today. Get back in it, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I need to go. Sort of a weird day. Yeah. We'll think, go fish hard and see what we can do. You think this rain delay is going to do anything bad for you, or is it going to? Not really. I mean, if anything, it, if anything, the rain delay would help me because I'm in the last flight today. It would hurt some of the people in the early flights. So, if the weights fall more, better chance for me to get back in it. We had a little uh, rain delay. Big storm came through, and the lightning, a bunch of stuff. And then there's another one coming. It's going to hit us probably about 10 o'clock. So. We're gonna be careful out there today. But we're gonna to catch. Them. We're gonna have a good time. I think it's gonna make uh, make everything make everything bite today. I think we're gonna bite. Be ready. Be ready.
Get the boat, get the boat, get the boat, get the boat. Okay. I could tie it in the head. I <laughs> got it in the head. <laughs> Number one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Good day. It's be a good day. That's awesome. That's so much fun, dude. When they smoke that thing up there in a foot of water. There you go. Do something. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Holy cow, they're right there. There's a good one. They're still here. There's another school. Just felt like there was a little bit better grade right here. So much fun, dude, getting these fish up on these bars like this. Number five, that's my limit right there. That's the cut. Nice fish. I don't know where he's hooked, it's weird. Keep an eye on it. Two pounds. it weird dude i'm letting it sit there literally like that just letting it sit and just barely twitching it and they're smoking it dude we're gonna probably move i'm gonna make a couple more casts and I'll go hit that other one see if i can get the best of that one and then i can come back if i need to here you know let's see if i can't catch the biggest ones off that spot because i caught the biggest ones here first and then i can come back if i need to have 12 13 pounds and then we're gone Big one. Oh my gosh. Really nice fish.
Oh my gosh, real big one, dude. Real big one. Oh my... You... You... At the begging. Definitely the cut. <sighs> Give me some of that, dude. All right, let me get it. I got to build the wall of Skeeter. There's like a bunch of fish right there. Like a bunch. Oh my gosh, look at them up there. Those are the big smallies, dude. I'm telling you, those are the big smallies. That's a big one, dude. There's a wad up there, dude.
There's a, did you see them coming up pushing water like baby whales? There's a whole school of baby whales here on the Mississippi River. Dude. Man, there's so many fish here, dude. It's ridiculous. I don't know if they're big or not, but that's where the big ones are right there on that little point. There he is. How y'all doing? It's a bass, dude. It's the biggest one I've ever had. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, boy. We can do this. One. That was awesome, dude. Oh my gosh, I had a bite, dude. Another big one, dude. Another big one. Oh my gosh, another giant, dude. Yeah! We cook him, baby. Well, you know, I, I um, spent obviously three days practicing. I found some some fish way up in some shallow water that I thought I could catch, you know, 13, 14 pounds off of. And then I had, you know, some of this offshore grass type stuff. And so far, the plan's been working out pretty well. Started off the morning catching uh, some nice largemouth up shallow, and now I've moved and upgraded a few times out here. Just casting a worm around, uh, throwing a Carolina rig a little bit, and even a swim jig.
this is dumb after yesterday. I think you might. He helps me. He's got to be more than two four, two five actually. He's not two five. Nope. Is that a giant bass? I think it's like a 10 pounder, dude. What is that? Big pike? Oh. Look at that walleye, dude. Look at that thing. Is that a walleye? Look at that walleye. Wow. Right? That's a big walleye, dude. What I saw when it came by, I was like, it's not a pipe. Dude, that's a big one. Dude, that's a big pike. I mean, not a big walleye. Dang, dude. I was like, what? Because it came by, like, I knew it wasn't a pike. I saw, like, it looked too wide, you know? Yeah, and I was like, dude, if it's a bass, it's like a seven pounder. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my gosh. All right, guys. We made the cut, that's for sure. Hopefully, we'll move up a little bit. Much better day today. We did what we needed to do, you know. One big mistake, obviously. Yesterday's big fish and today's big fish. 100% my fault. 100% my fault. So we'll just go with that. Try to try to get a, a bigger bag tomorrow. 
we can win this thing, guys, we're just fishing to win. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to keep keep doing our plan. So thanks for hanging out so far. Mission unstoppable. So strong, dude. It hurt me. Quit it. Can you take you on the before the... He's a seven-time FLW Tour winner, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. 13 pounds, seven ounces as of this morning. Five fish to add to that here today. Came into this event needing a big finish, and it looks like he's well on his way there. Five fish here today, 13-7 yesterday. 16 pounds, eight ounces. 16-8 with 29 pounds, 15 ounces. Scott Martin rockets up to third place currently and has his eyes on the ultimate prize. Another trip to the Bassmaster Classic. I'm gonna weigh that for Phoenix Boats Big Bass. Needs to be better than four pounds. Four pounds, six ounces. So he takes over Phoenix Boats Big Bass. And man, you came into this event needing a big finish, Scott, and you did exactly what champions do. You came out swinging, and man, halfway through this event, you are well within your target. Well, I appreciate that. You know, it's uh, last term of the year. You got to lay it all out. I've been fishing, trying to win one this year, hard as I can. We're just going to hopefully fish another couple days and pull off something special. I really want one of those blue trophies. You know, my dad's got 19 of them, and uh, I don't have any of the Bassmaster Elite trophies, so that would be special for sure. You know, I caught a lot of fishing. I'm making good decisions so far. I've left a few fish out there the last couple of days. It's kind of hurt me a little bit, but you know what? I'm looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. This is a fantastic fishery. I hope we come back every year. The crowd's awesome. The fishing's great. The town's awesome. So appreciate all you guys. Great job. He's a three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, two-time FLW Tour champion from Shelby, North Carolina, Team Toyota's Matt Airy. At 15-8 yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. 14 pounds, 13 ounces, gives him 30 pounds and five ounces. Matt Airy moves into third place currently with 30 pounds and five ounces. Uh, yeah, the, the river here, man, this is a fun fishery. I, I tell you what, I, I, uh, I, we finally get to come to a place where we get to put those little fairy wands down and pick up some meat sticks. And it's, uh, this place right here is, uh, it's something special. It, it always has been, always will be. You know, it's not, not, not known for a lot of giant bass, but it's known for a lot of bites, and you can just uh, you can pick your poison out there. You can power fish and uh, fish grass, fish drops, fish you know current. You can do whatever you want. Uh, fun place. Looking forward to the bar. Hopefully we can round up 15, 16 pounds star maker by the Go get it. I know your fish will be very lively. All right, guys. Uh, look, we're halfway through this derb. 16 and a half pounds. It was it felt good. It felt good. You know. Uh, we go out tomorrow. Hopefully, do that again. Duplicate that. Maybe even catch a little bit more. You know, I want to win. That's just. I, I'm just going to leave it at that. We're having a lot of fun. This place is fishing good. It fits my style. Um, you know, let's just go. Let's go day three, guys. So we've got a whole other video coming. This video is not over, but we've got some good stuff. I'm feeling it a little bit. The prodigy, Brandon Polinick. It is imperative that he gets inside this cut to keep his angler of the year dreams alive. He has five fish, 12, 13 yesterday. He's 8, 14 currently to get inside the cut. Five all alive, 11 pounds, 13 ounces with 24 pounds, 10 ounces. He moves into 33rd place and keeps the dream alive. The 2019 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. Seven pounds, 14 ounces. Yesterday, five fish to add to that here today. He's 14-2. Keep this tournament going. Five fish, 13 pounds, five ounces. Gives him 21 pounds. Three ounces, unfortunately, outside of the cut this time around. But let's hear it for the former Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. 21 pounds, three ounces, unfortunately, short of the cut this time around, Scott. Yeah, it was short. You know, I just didn't do anything. I didn't do my job yesterday. I went out 
I don't know what I was doing yesterday. I didn't catch but four bass. I weighed seven pounds something. Today I called probably six over two pounds. I probably caught 30 bass a day. And I weighed in four little smallmouth yesterday and I caught 30 largemouths today. So uh, I don't know what I did, but it was okay. It was a good way to end the year. That's the way I wanted to go out. I didn't want to go out like I did yesterday. So, you know, uh, it's about time to switch gears. I think I'm gonna head to Kentucky next week and see my see the guys at Whitetail Heaven, see if we can't do a little deer hunting. But. Uh, you know, we couldn't do it without all our sponsors. I ran that Scooter Yamaha all the way up and down the river. Never had any issues all year long. So, uh, you know, support the ones that support us, guys. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll see y'all next year. Looking forward to seeing you back here. Well, I sort of uh, messed the team up this week. We should have had a house cut, but uh, I blew it yesterday, man. I just didn't, I don't know what I was doing. I just didn't do anything right. I got in a bad rotation. Fished the same areas today and caught I don't know, 15 keepers or so. Called five over two, so all I needed was a couple of them yesterday and I'd have been in the cut. But all in all, it was a good year in the classic, so uh, secured that spot last week. So we'll root the boys on the rest of the week, see what the MSMC house can do. Dude, I'm in third, bro. I know. No, right. you're in uh, fifth. Fifth? Eric in fourth. Oh, and you're in fifth. And I'm really? Really? Yep. My son said I was in third. Well, you but was it, for a long time. Yeah. Well, I want to pre, uh, say thank you for all the help. He got my mind right this week. He came in, he came this week and he was like, "We got to get you in the classic. We got to get." And I'm not in the classic. Yeah, I got to catch some more. But he's like, "I guess you got to get in the classic." And he's just been concerned all about me catching fish, and I appreciate that, man. It's helped me. You got to catch him. Come get him tomorrow. I found some good stuff in practice and been able to manage it pretty good. It is what it is. So Matt's doing good. He's in fourth. Uh, Canterbury missed it a little bit, but uh, I didn't get that off there. Didn't mean dump it on your arm. Uh, that's, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, fun, fun tournament so far. Fun yeah. tournament so I far. Mean, you've had, you've been around some big ones, some good ones. Had some more opportunities. Last day of practice when I kept finagling my way up into that deal, you know, and I kept, I got my Google Maps out and I was looking at sandbars and trying to find stuff, and I'm weaving around. I finally ran up in there, dude. When I found that, I was like, "There's gonna be ten boats in here." And nobody. And nobody. I don't. I can't. I, I'm so blessed to be able to have a spot. And that's the difference, you know, when you can fish a couple of areas and not have a ton of pressure. That's hard to do on this place. So I got a little lucky on that deal. But but uh, we're gonna go out tomorrow. We're gonna start a whole other video, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mobile One Delvac, for sponsoring this video. Mission Unstoppable. That's exactly the theme, right? So do me a huge favor, guys, before you or right when you get off this video. Check the link in the description. Check out Mission Unstoppable Mobile Delvac. They made a special website just for that. Go check it out. And um, appreciate all the support. We'll see you. Boom!